Good morning, my fellow. Disciplined, peaceful, law-abiding patriots. Now, I went with this story from News Nation USA for the picture alone, but let's start with the headline. Federal, state, and local officials on high alert ahead of protest outside of U.S. Capitol. Yeah, these protests are about the people being held, still many without charges, over the January 6th riot, what they're still trying to call an insurrection. Funny thing about this insurrection, the insurrectionists had no guns. They had no bombs. And there was only one rioter killed, Ashley Babbitt. Yes, she was a rioter. So I really can't defend her very much. If she would have broken to my house trying to do damage, I would have shot her down too. The cop is blameless in this action. I think what these protests are really all about though are somewhere along the... Wait, before I get into that, let's take a look at this wall they built around the Capitol building. The one they just tore down, it seems like only yesterday. Well, they put it back up. As you can see, area closed. There's a cop standing right next to the sign. And high above the wall, is that some kind of monitoring device? I bet there's cameras in there. Maybe microphones to record sound. Motion detectors. Who the hell knows what's in that device standing up there? Now, to get back to the reason for this protest, I think it's all about things like, well, this. This is from ABC News. What the press have called the QAnon Shaman. That guy right there with the Viking helmet, bare-chested. Looks like he's howling at the moon. Well, he was just convicted on one count. And what was he convicted of? Unlawfully obstructing an official proceeding. Yeah, Congress was in session and they say he was obstructing it. Well, I guess he could have been. He is holding that microphone right there. But this seems to be a little bit of an overreach, don't you? He wasn't really rioting. I've seen many photographs and film clips of him during this January 6th insurrection. And he's never violent. He should have just been given a slap on the wrist and said, Don't do it again. Do you really think this man was an insurrectionist? Do you really think he was a rioter? Let's get back now to the other part of the story. Now, in that first news article, you saw a wall going up around the Capitol building. Why, we all know balding, bumbling Biden hates walls. Why, one of the first things he did as president was to stop wall building in Texas. And this was the result. This is from a Greek newspaper called Athena 984. More than 10,000 illegal aliens, mostly from Haiti, camp under a bridge on the southern border. Yes, thousands upon thousands of illegal aliens are going across our southern border in Texas. Across the border where Biden stopped the building of the wall. Where Beta O'Rourke said he'd have the wall torn down. Now what does bumbling Biden want to do about this? He's not going to stand for it at all. In fact, believe it or not, he has a plan. The Biden administration is pushing Haiti's government to accept eight flights per day about a week since Biden ended repatriation flights to Haiti. Now, let's say there's 300 people on a flight a little bit more. So with 300 people, you get to what, 2,400 people on a flight? 
or day, sorry. Uh, so with 300 people on the flight, you'd get to 2,400 a day. Say that you put just a tad more than 300 people on that flight, and you get up to 2,500 people a day. So, in less than a week, Biden can have all these people Aravac out of here. It's something he really wants to do. You saw it. He's pushing Haiti's government to accept eight flights a day. This is another instance of where if bumbling Biden had just followed through with President Trump's plan, if he would have allowed the wall to have been completed, if he would have said, we're not going to allow you to come across at this time, none of this would have happened. The reason I'm linking these two stories together is, this is the real story that's happening today. The crisis at the border, what bumbling Biden is doing about it. Now, I'm sure the current administration's hopes there is going to be one hell of a riot in Washington, D.C. today. But, no. My prediction is nothing is going to happen today. And so the fake news media is going to have to bury this story. Maybe underneath the wall.